good afternoon ma'am how are you good afternoon and i so far so good what about you yeah i am also pretty fine but uh, nowadays i am under the weather i can't say that i am as fit as fidel <laughs> yeah we are because yeah weather has changed so that's mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. that's why because and uh, you know in one month most of the time i get sick one time in one month one time i <laughs> casually get, uh, get sick yeah and uh, i i have very sensitive body you know if i take little bit cold and if i have you know like if i go outside in sunny time so i get sick <laughs> my body yeah, maybe uh, maybe weather and uh, climate and uh, water uh, are doesn't uh, don't suit you because you yeah. know whenever we go another places so climate uh, is changed little bit and mm -hmm. water has also changed yes That's yes yes and some people have this type of body that they can adjust anywhere yeah but i can't adjust <laughs> mm -hmm. if water is changed you know like if i go any other state and water water is changed climate uh, changed so yes i can't adjust i fall sick mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a bother you and actually what happened uh, if i also uh, consume cold drink and cold water it's a bother me yeah yeah me too <laughs> okay ma'am yeah, so why it is a cool water chill water i always use a uh, uh, soil pot water like matka matka yeah, that and it's plain water is uh, okay for me yes it's good for health and i never take cold water yeah i most of the time i use uh, normal water yeah yes, okay ma'am yeah so do you have any yes. topic to discuss uh, first of all ma'am you are new on my channel so yes please introduce yourself for my viewers yes of course so very good afternoon and yeah. uh, as you know uh, on the screen it is showing my name as yeah. you know my name is sandhya tiwari and i was a teacher earlier but now i am completely home maker originally i am from uttar pradesh but i am connecting to you from bombay and yeah. i was to be two sons mm -hmm. and they are grown up now that's why i am able to continue my journey again and if you talk about my hobbies so i have many hobbies i am very fond of learning new things okay. uh, like embroidery cooking and gardening stitching and uh, many more things so mm -hmm. these days but these these days only my favorite hobby is learning english language and whatever time i get i always around english content yes mm -hmm. so that's all okay. okay wow that's nice introduction and i'm glad to know about you and you are multi talented lady i must say that you have you are teacher and you are homemaker and you have all these passions so that's very good and even you your as you are saying that your children uh, have grown up still you are learning english that's very good so what is the main reason behind it learning english like what is your purpose to learn i would love to listen you your introduction then we will continue so please okay okay sure sure so it's my pleasure ma'am to introduce myself i am anjana and i am connecting to you from up and if i talk about my qualification so i have done my post graduation in english literature from kanpur university and i love teaching and i love listening to music apart from that i run a youtube channel and uh, i am very amiable person that's it wow. lovely introduction yeah. so yes now we can continue what did you ask before yes ma'am right yes my question is that that as you told me that your children uh, have grown up 
and uh, yes you are homemaker and you are i think you are settled so what is the purpose of learning this language why are you here and why are you so excited and curious to learn this language yes that's the wonderful question i would love to answer that so first of all uh, we need to communicate these days in english it's required mandatory for everyone mm. it's our need by who can by crook if we learn this language we are very comfortable to communicate with new generations and yeah. these days nobody is uh, nobody at home yes. to help us Mm. If elderly people, we grown up. After mm. that, nobody uh, will be there to help us. Like if I want vegetables, I want mm. to uh, pay the light bill. I want buy anything. Mm. If I need to ask anything to others, everywhere English is required. Mm. Without that, I can't order anything. i can't mm. even ask anybody for medicines mm. if i know that name then i can ask yes yes it is yes. lots of inquiry about mm. the uh, medicines mm. so first reason is that everyone is busy in their own life mm. so for that reason second reason new upcoming generation may be uh, they would not be communicate in our mother tongue and a uh, little bit hindi they will maybe continue with hindi but mm-hmm. i don't that ho- i uh, don't have hope mm-hmm. to happen in future so because these days everyone eager to send their child english medium school yeah, and they sure. provide every parents uh, provide started providing that atmosphere mm-hmm. from the beginning when child started speaking since that day they focused on only spoken part yes yes yeah so that's the reason and most of my reason i want to help needy people okay yeah in some area so that's why i am here otherwise i am not a good speaker i know but i am uh, i know enough i can convey my message to others mm. but yes i want to help those uh, children yeah that's commendable ma'am now you know people are so busy that they don't have time but still you are here and you want to help others that's very good because there are so many learner and they don't have partner you know they always try to find partner online so yes if you are here and you are saying that you want to help others so i must say that it's really beneficial for all co learner like they always try to find partner for speaking practice yeah so if they get you and me so it's very good for each other yeah because we all are connected to each other if we want to enhance our communication so if we are online so we can connect with anyone and we can enhance our speaking skills as well as others can enhance yeah so that's commendable and, and this platform is like for us uh, we get whole learner as well as the uh, many friends we are understanding others mindset and mm-hmm. we are uh, i am talking about myself i don't feel lonely at home and mm. on the pretext of this conversation yeah. i have a discipline because mm-hmm. i always mm-hmm. enthusiastic to connect uh, someone so by the time i complete my work i get up i dress up mm-hmm. i have that curiosity yes. uh, otherwise if i uh, think i have no any goal so i mm-hmm. uh, become dull and sit idle at home and He started wow. gossiping about here and there. I don't like that. Very good, very good. I agree with your po- um, points, and I love your thoughts. Uh, you are really doing great job, ma'am. Because if we don't have goal, yeah, so our life is like you know we are doing daily casual things, same things we do, and we feel monotonous. 
like my life is boring what to do now i i don't know this i don't know this and there is no one who can whom with i can talk yeah most of the time people think that it's not our age age doesn't matter you can follow okay. your passion at any time at any yes. age yes and it should be your if you are uh, curious and you have interest in anything so just follow your passion that's very good because it gives us really satisfaction and happiness yeah because yeah, all the like, luxury things we have we have at our home like uh, we t- we want to take a good mobile we want to take good furniture and we want to take a good tv and a four wheeler so we all have like, but how much time we can spend with things yeah whenever we need that time we only spend time with uh, our luxury things but we want to feel we want to touch with someone yeah because we are human so we can't live without connecting with others so when we share our things whatever our uh, thoughts when we share our thoughts when we listen others so that time we have really satisfaction and happiness yeah happiness and you share our knowledge we get knowledge from here and on the pretext of this conversation we had uh, we i have curiosity to read something yes. to collect some knowledge from somewhere so we are collecting some knowledge and day by day we uh, become wiser i can yeah, say yeah. because without mm. knowledge without knowledge we just be, uh, like uh, since innocent Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, who is the clever? Clever means knowledgeable person, or uh, who has yeah. curiosity to know about the world, about the everything, entire world. Like uh, these days, I watch English content news, English news. So I know that what is going on the market. How mm. is the, uh, today? I saw news or uh, landslide. Okay. And flight in the Kerala. I was okay. watching that news, and mm-hmm. three students have had killed. Okay. In uh, uh, Rajendra Nagar. Okay. In uh, Delhi. Hmm. Why that? Uh, why did it happen? Hmm. So while listening all these kinds of thing, I know what is the pro uh, uh, pros and cons. and what is happening around us yeah around us why uh, did it happen what is the mm. cause so i know lots of uh, conflict they are among the ministers leaders and students uh, have been facing this problem for a long time this is not yes. new and still uh, there is no uh, any uh, step taken by the government You, yes yes after after this dead death these three of the students got dead after that government media all are active this days yeah, but it happened what about every... before that before mm. that where were they yes you are Meeting saying right also be active when something happened wrong with the people you know basement yes. basement is the place for coaching center and library create a library there ah what, you are talking about delhi in india i have also it seen it was a very, very pathetic news yeah they take lots of money and parents mm. satisfied they only focus their their child is safe there and he is mm. preparing for government exam government survey will he yeah. will would be one day but what yes. about the security children uh, just they explained in the news there was a toilet uh, never flushed properly some day oh. after few mm-hmm. period of time it's okay otherwise again that problem they had faced they have yeah. been facing that problem so what happened drain uh, drains was not working properly mm. uh, even uh, Ah, uh, toilet waters plus mm. out, plus out over over overflow. 
in that yes. uh, flood water and mix it together and yes. there is no electricity and proper way and uh, fingerprint for safety they use fingerprint to open the toilet uh, door and if any uh, time students inside one girl was telling that if any student uh, is inside the room, uh, toilet and all of sudden electricity has gone it's cut there is no electricity no one is there to help him and without fingerprint if electricity is not there how can we use our thumb a fingerprint and always it is so dirty so smelly stink smell there they can't ever to bear that a breathless they feel breathless they hold yeah. their breath so it is very pathetic situation yeah really you are saying right i also have heard all these things yeah it's really you know we have to we should aware always if we send our uh, children you know so we should not only pay our fees we should check all the things like they are safe there or not because you know these institution take a lot of money not enough money you know they take lakhs lakhs money than they provide so we should always focus not only education but also about building like there is a good building or not and uh, you know i have listened that uh, there was uh, already it was informed by you know local police that uh, they should use only for uh, uh, like uh, garage it was not allowed for library and uh, it was allowed for only you know garage like we, uh, students can keep their vehicles there like cycle and bikes but they did not focus on this so everything was going on but what happened you know every like every bad situation create that time all the people get excited like yes they get awareness yes we should uh, uh, we should uh, we should not uh, do like this yeah you are saying right you know it's very bad and the student has complained lots of the time but mm. nobody nobody uh, could care they, they were not so serious so about it yeah? because of mm. students who have been living in that institute for 3 years those mm. students have their problems and they are told that we are avoiding to speak uh, more than enough because mm. if i spoke more than in i speak more than enough after that we have to face much more difficulties yeah yeah that's why they don't take action they don't yes. go against all things hmm but you know i think that before uh, giving admission to their uh, children uh, it should understand the parents its parents responsibility responsibility and now i think all the parents are very aware and they would not like to send their children in this type of situation this type of uh, class people parents always eager to uh, make their child something different yeah but that's why they did focus on yes they don't focus on those kinds of area they we need to any parents need to first search go there watch that area how is area and my child can survive here for 3 years or not there is no ventilation there is this mean i really really very surprised yeah i i feel i shocked after listening those things basement is the not place this is my third time i am uh, raise that uh, raise that question basement is not the place to create a library yeah you are saying right really it's very pathetic situation and uh, everything everyone should understand and yes uh, it should be you know banned all the there are not only that was the coaching there were other many coachings also they were doing same so it all be it all should be banned and yeah it will be because when 
any bad situation happens that time everyone is active otherwise no one uh, pay attention and everybody think that who will raise voice the first nobody is going to listen because if system is corrupt mm. who will help them yes yes absolutely right you have great thoughts ma'am and your thinking is good i'm really feeling proud of you that yes if everyone has this type of thinking so yes there will not evil we can find evil anywhere yeah but what can we do i think that we if we have great thoughts so we should do good uh, with others and uh, we can't uh, improve others we can't change others feelings so yeah no uh, i am telling you first you uh, stop the recording after that we can continue otherwise unnecessary your work will be yes yes okay yeah, okay it is very uh, time consuming work to edit yes ma'am yes but it was very informative and beneficial uh, speeches you have given and uh, i am feeling uh, very good after talking to you so that's wonderful bye thank you sir.